Ice Friday, a massive storm moving through the middle of the country and Ginger Z tracking it all. Good morning, Ginger. Hey, good morning to you guys. You know, this is not just one city. This is more than 2,000 miles from New Mexico to New England that has some sort of snow, sleet, freezing rain, and just mess. Power lines and trees are down in the south. We've got states of emergency. And look what it looks like on the roads this morning, live in Dallas. It is just such an ice rink. And that's what you're going to find in so many places. And this is just storm one. That's right. We've got storm one that we're dealing with with all the winter storm watches, warnings and advisories, but there's a new one that's going to bring snow to places like Sacramento, possibly Las Vegas. We'll be talking about that coming up. And this first one is not over. Here's how much more ice is going to fall in the next 24 hours, up to a quarter inch in some places. We don't need it. Let's go to Arkansas for Steve Osinsami. He's got the story. From Texas to Minnesota, what's being called Ice Friday in full effect. A dangerous combination of sub-zero temperatures sleet and freezing rain and sheets of black ice over roadways up to half an inch thick in places sending drivers flying. Families rush grocery stores worried they could be shut in. In Oklahoma where the governor has declared a state of emergency this out of control semi slid right through three guardrails and across traffic before plunging into a lake. And overnight, there was high drama in West Frankfort, Illinois. This family's car slid off a road and flipped into a water-filled ditch. Firefighters struggling to rescue all of them, including this 10-year-old boy. There was more of the same in northern Texas, expected to continue there today. We were just started going sideways, and then uh, we were on oncoming traffic. In Arkansas, branches frozen over with ice are weighing down on power lines, leaving more than 3,000 without power, even sparking fires where sagging lines got too close to trees. And powerful winds and black ice throwing campers clear off the road in central Minnesota. In Montana, a new worry this morning, the threat of avalanches. The weather can't decide what it wants to be. A second ago it was rain, then it switched to this sleet, and now it's turned into snow. Those families making a run for supplies in this state, parts of Tennessee, and especially northern Texas, where more than 57,000 people are without power this morning. Robin. All right, Steve, thank you.